What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. I am a little bit under the weather but we are going to be bringing you the video so hopefully my voice isn't too bad. But yeah, we are going to be doing this video. It's things I want to see fixed for eFootball 2023. I think it's things that we need to see fixed and we're going to get into a couple of comparisons between eFootball 2022 v1.0 and the current build of the game that we have now. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We have a lot of comparisons, a lot of good talking points, and let me know what is bothering you and what you guys want to see fixed as well. All right, we'll catch you in a sec. All right, so we are in, lads, and I want to talk about eFootball 2023. We're starting off with a couple of clips here just to show you guys some of the issues I've been facing, some of the stuff that I've been really frustrated with. There is still positives. You'll see some nice flicks and tricks. You'll see some nice goals with these clips, which we can analyze in a minute. But stuff like this, right? Little issues like this. I go to press uh, throw in. It's already picked the throw, and then you can see there that it's like some sort of like a weird, like unresponsive that it switches to up a Meccano, and I do obviously can see the goal from it. Like they are small things, but obviously issues that you can just see here that I'm trying to pass it to Van Dyke, and it it takes me to up a Meccano straight away. But from the kickoff here again, you'll see this is kind of even more frustrating for me is that I just feel like the wing play, the dribbling, the kind of like being a better attacker um, than your opponent, being a good defender is kind of completely nullified by the AI. It's not nullified by playing better skilled players. It's not nullified by playing, you know, guys that are Division 1. Um, you'll see here that I absolutely rinse him defensively with Dembele. And look at the gap I have built up here, right? But watch the angle of the position that the AI takes up right here. And it's just, then it's WWE, Stone Cold Steve Austin. But look at where Davies is there. If I take a touch around up a Meccano, Davies is actually going to come back and recover. Now, while I like to see this with like the top, top, top players, it doesn't really matter what their stats are in terms of the defensive OP-ness at the moment. And when I say overpowered defenders, it means that like the players, they don't really, like they defend for you, man. They defend for you. Now, we're going to take a comparison here of just how like less handholdy the defense was or defensive side of the game, the defensive AI was in eFootball 2022 v1.0. Uh, this is my favorite version of the game so far. You can see this guy that I'm playing. He's just completely overcommitting. But watch the angle that they pick up here. We're going to rewind this back and just show you guys in a second, right? So it's a little one touch, touch and go and one true uh, pass. And Corona gets it back on. And then from here, right, we're looking for this guy to center around, okay? He's got targeted Marquinhos, who is going to come and try and face me with the ball. But the AI isn't going to hold his hand back post, and I'm able to just like kind of shirk away from him, give the ball into Romario, and it's a simple finish. But in the current patch that we have, the current gameplay with eFootball 2023, it that just wouldn't be possible, man, because the AI, the defensive AI, would just completely nullify me up, as is evidenced here, right? So I beat the guy on the post. You'll see the gap there again, and I am showing you this clip again because it was a very frustrating clip for me. I knew that this guy, with no disrespect to him, he was a good player going forward, but he couldn't defend me. But he didn't need to defend me because the AI was doing all the work for him. And you'll see here again with Rudiger when he cuts the gap, he is still targeting De Jong here. He is not targeting his two centre-backs. They're, tar they're being uh, controlled by the AI. They're being put into position by the AI. Davies is sprinting to get back. He switches to up a Meccano, comes out with an auto-press, and then he just gets the ball. Compare that again with another example here on the wing. I completely take his player out of the ball. He's running back with Vidal. Watch the gap that's opened up and this guy didn't even fully commit he's just after opening the gap a little bit I've got the ball with Corona on the wing similar position to Dembele except I'm kind of running in I pass the ball in here to Pedri little double touch to get my sprint to open my body up and then it's a bang in the back of the net so I think with all these gameplay, you were able to do tricks in the box. You were able to have that responsiveness. Compare that with this current gameplay. Yeah, you can still do tricks, but the AI is just so tuned in to blocking the passing lanes, blocking where you want to put it. And even here, like, right, he gets a brilliant counterattack here. Look at the gap I cover with Van Dyke. He beats me with a trick move, and then the AI just gets back and wins the ball back for me. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't even paying attention to Makalele coming back there. Now, I know you'll say Makalele is a legend. He should be able to win the ball back. Back. but similarly up here you know it's he's got it's a four on two when I pass the ball in here the chance is kind of gone so there's a lot of frustrating things with it in terms of the flow of the game 
Again, we're talking about eFootball23 here. I get the ball out here, here with Dembele. I'm trying to beat this guy. The AI just comes back and takes it. He gives the ball back to me. I cut back in here. Rodrigo beat him with a little trick move. The AI comes across. He switches to Van Dijk and just absolutely butcher bays me. And that should have been a penalty. But even ignoring it, that, that that should have been a penalty. How frustrating is it that like Van Dijk is covering that gap for him? right? He is, he's is got Alaba targeted here. I make mince meat of Alaba, right? I absolutely make mince meat of Alaba with a nice little trick, a nice little deft touch. Watch Van Dyke. It's the AI. The AI is covering this gap. It's plugging the gap for him. Look, still, still, still. And then he gets possession of it and he gets user control, which is simply the AI has already initiated that tackle. Compare that to eFootball22. Look at the intricate passes. Look at the AI not holding his hand. You'll see here out on the wing. These aren't superstar players that I'm playing with. You know, Munayin, we've got a tired Ronaldinho and a tired Corona. He gets the ball. It's just able to be spread out wide. You're able to kind of take your time on the ball. Intricate passes. The AI was in tune with where it was going to go. But it wasn't handholdy. Now, eFootball22 had a lot of issues as well in terms of the responsiveness and in terms of clearing the ball. And there was issues. It wasn't perfect. I'm not going to say that it was the best game ever. But I just feel like there was a lot of flow that you could do to it. You could attack out wide. You could attack in central. You could blend both of them together. You could shoot from distance. There was stupid stuff and stupid misses like this. You're always going to get that in gameplay. And you're always going to get that in actual um, you know, sports games. But I think a big part of it and, you know, what has changed can be actually visually represented by the formations that people are playing. So this formation you guys are seeing here at the moment is a formation that got me to Division 1, right? So I'm playing uh, various different formations now, whereas in an upcoming video that I'm going to be doing, talking about meta formations and the formations that work, these are the formations that you kind of have to, have to use. And you'll notice a trend. If you are a newcomer to the game, you will notice a trend of players that are playing very similar centrally you know because the wing play doesn't really get rewarded and that is kind of why people are pushing the ball through the middle of the pitch as best as they possibly can whether it's a five at the back whether it's a three at the back whether you've got two strikers or three strikers or you've got little triangles all over the pitch the game has become triangle central that's what it is it's getting the ball and as soon as you have the ball get rid of it no extra touches no dribbles no skills no tricks no overlaps, no waiting for the AI to run in. It's literally just get the ball and move it. Compared to the gameplay that we're seeing here, I just think it's very, very limited at the moment. I don't know how you guys are enjoying it or not, but look at this, like even here, like I knew that this guy that I was playing, I had him on the ropes from the first like two or three attacks that I had. And I was just able to kind of like, you know, break him down in so many different ways. Like I was able to do it through the central areas of the pitch. I was able to do it on overlaps through the wings. I was able to take long range shots. I was able to take, you know, deft touch shots. I was able to do triangles. I was able to spread it out wide. This is all from the same game. You know, look at the responsiveness, look at the movement, look at the dribbling, open up the body, bang, goal. And that was kind of it, you know. So I just feel that like with eFootball 2023, even when you absolutely rinse somebody like I'm seeing here with Dembele, I take four players out, rinse two or three of them, come back inside. And yes, I do get a penalty out of it. But, you know, more often than not, you don't get rewarded for that. As you'll see here with a couple of clips from Anthony, absolutely ripping again, come inside, rip again. Ball comes in here, it's intercepted by the AI, it switches to him to the last minute. I win the ball back. Look at this, it's very clunky, very messy, and eventually the ball gets in the back of the net. But there doesn't seem to be the same reward or the same enjoyment out of it that kind of gets you out of your seat. You can see there by my even my reaction. Like I personally look, lads, I know that FIFA is out and stuff, and I know that that is going to be popular at the moment, but I genuinely do think that there is still hope for eFootball 2023. I have high hopes for the next and for the future and for the next couple of patches, but they need to get back to the basics, man. They need to get back to the skill gap of, I understand that they don't want newcomers playing the game and I understand that they don't want, you know, people downloading the game to give it a try and losing 10 nil. And that's where the filter system can come in. You know what I mean? It doesn't need to be gameplay balanced. It needs to be, you know, system balanced. You can still have a good time with eFootball 2023. I still do. That's why I'm still doing content. I'm still doing, even when I'm at home sick today, I'm still doing content. I'm still doing videos and I still enjoy playing it. I just want to be able to enjoy more of what I enjoyed when the game first launched. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't perfect, but there was a lot to enjoy in eFootball 2022. I still believe that there is hope there. I am glass half full as I always usually am, but it's getting hard. It's getting hard because the gameplay now is very, very, very uh, pushy in terms of it wants you to play 
you know, a certain way. And I didn't really like Pez 2021, my club online, 1v1. I did play a lot of co-op, but I just feel like that this current gameplay is reminding me of the reasons why I didn't really play too much of Pez 2021's my club. You know, because it's it's pushing you in a way to fill your team with strong central players that don't need any time on the ball, that literally just pass, 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 triangle, 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 triangle. And me, personally, I like to dribble. I like to get it on the wing. I like to do different play styles. That's not going to work all the time. I'm not going to win all my games. I'm not going to be a top 100 player or be an absolute beast. But I don't need to be. My enjoyment comes out of playing a game because that's what it's meant to be, an enjoyable experience when you're playing a game, the same as watching a movie. you know. And I just feel that... There is still hope there. I still have good experiences with the game when it plays well. I just think they need to tone down the defensive AI. They need to tone down the aggressiveness. They need to punish players that are just completely no skill-based defending at all. They're literally just jamming buttons. And I just feel like that would change things rapidly with the way that the game is. So that is it for me, lads. A bit of a lengthy video, but let me know. I want clips from you guys. I want your talking points. I want comments. I want you to get involved. Let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree with me? Are you still playing it? Are you not playing it? Yeah, that's it. All right, let's peace.